Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Fox and this is a Heather Fox Express train. Darling! So guys, uh, today, long time no see, <laughs> uh, today we are going to have a chit chat video. So I'm just going to chit chat with you guys. Anyway, so um, for those people who don't know, I am expecting and um, pretty soon the little person will be here. But I just wanted to have a chit chat with you guys about uh, my self-esteem, my confidence with being pregnant and how my skin and how my body has changed and how I've adjusted and learned to deal with the changes that happen in this very beautiful time in your life but also a very different time in your life, right? Um, I have been sent some really beautiful some really amazing products by Dior so I'm going to be going through those products with you guys I've used them for a few days um, so I don't have a full review as in use it for very long but so far the reviews that I can give you is that the stuff is really 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 good um, so the first thing I'm going to do I've washed my face um, I've put my my daily face cream the only thing now which I've now added a step to my skincare routine is the serum the serum so this is a capture total super potent serum this is it here the capture total super potent serum is 91% natural origin ingredients for healthier younger and radiant looking skin so the serum also has the new acetylated and the new acetylated hyaluronic acid so a new acetylated hyaluronic acid is the next generation of hyaluronic acid that penetrates the skin three times more than regular hyaluronic acid and you know right now hyaluronic acid is like the end all be all like everybody's adding it to the skincare regime so I'm really happy that this has got the new generation hyaluronic acid I'm actually quite apprehensive of the things that I put on my face during pregnancy and so far so good um, I am breaking out um, because of hormones so I'm always scared to put new products on my face but this has actually treated me really well I haven't had any you know aggravate it hasn't aggravated my skin anymore so I'm really enjoying it and I cannot wait to um, keep giving you guys keep using it and I'll give you guys a fuller review in about a month's time but right now it is doing really I I'm enjoying the feel on my skin when I use it so I'm going to take a little bit of it and So I just, you don't need a lot because it's actually quite watery and I'm just going to put that all over my skin. So as you can tell, I actually am breaking out heavily uh, because of the hormonal changes. Is the kind of acne I have now is hormonal acne. So, anyway, so I was a bit nervous about coming onto camera and like talking and like showing my skin. I felt like I was going to be judged for um, being a beauty blogger but then having my skin look all types of crazy. Um, so I have been fighting my skin for a while and there's only so much you can do when you're pregnant um, You can't really use too many harsh chemicals because they're not good for your skin I went through a stage during the pregnancy where I would look at myself in the mirror and just not recognize who I am And I think I had a couple cries about it that I just don't look like myself I mean I can do the makeups and I can do all that stuff But when I am raw and I'm natural on myself, I just don't look like myself um, and I really struggled with it and I remember getting a phone call from my son and um, he was quite honest as eight-year-olds are and he asked me why do you look so different and swollen in the face and um, at first I wanted to feel bad about it like oh god like you know I'm getting called out by an eight-year-old but it was honest and it was true. I look so different from the tattoo that I am used to. And it's taken me a while, especially in the last trimester, to 
get to a point where I'm okay with how I look because I'm actually going through a really beautiful journey and if it wasn't for the hormones that my body is producing I wouldn't be able to produce or to carry a healthy baby so you take everything I'm, I'm learning to take everything that I'm coping with with a little bit of salt with a pinch of salt so after the, so during the conversation with my son where he highlighted how different I look I got I I felt, bad. I felt bad like I said I felt bad but then um, I explained to him that you know these are the hormones that these are the changes that some ladies that happen to some ladies and um, we it happens to us because we're trying to grow smart beautiful strong human beings like you so when you see a lady who, who is looking a little different or you know feels a little different especially if she has a baby in her tummy you need to have love and affection and that's what I told him and um, he appreciated the conversation and it made me think about how I should have a little bit of love and affection patience and uh, appreciation for what my body is doing for me um, I feel like right now society is teaching us that you know pregnancies are perfect and you know women fall pregnant and they pop out these babies that are beautiful and perfect and then a couple weeks later they are back to their pre-pregnancy sizes and their skin never outbreaks and their skin is perfect and they look perfect and there are no ups and there are no downs in pregnancy and in childbirth and in aftercare and I think that's something that for me I'm learning the hard way that it's not always roses it's not always it's it's not always going to be um, perfect what we're taught is actually not perfect it's imperfect the perfect pregnancy uh, is the pregnancy that gives you the best outcome whether you break out or you don't break out whether you break out pre-pregnancy post-pregnancy during pregnancy that that doesn't matter as long as you uh, have a healthy baby and you yourself are healthy that's what's important your body's going through so many things and so much and we shouldn't be so hard on ourselves and we shouldn't let the standards of others or the standards of society dictate, dictate to us how we should feel about ourselves because oh well we're going through a lot man <laughs> we're going through a lot for the power of a uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the magic of camera, TV, YouTube. I've done my eyes. My eyes are done. So now I'm going to put on the foundation. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little more about this foundation. This foundation. So the foundation comes in 36 shades and it has a matte finish, which is a, a brilliant because I am producing so much oils in my skin. That's why I'm breaking out. That I need something to matte my skin out um, and to make me look more matte because as soon as I put on that mask or as soon as I walk out of the room, I am oily again. I am frying chips on my face. So this is really brilliant to have a matte finish foundation. It is sweat, heat and humidity proof for both matte and glow and it has a skin caring formula so it is formulated with 86 percent skin care to make the skin look smoother and the remaining percentage contributing to providing pigmentation to suit skin tone um and it has spf in it so and i always say that guys if you're going to look for a foundation you must always look for a foundation that has spf spf is key in terms of part of your skincare routine if you're not using SPF in your skin I don't know what you're doing with your life you need to make sure that in your skincare routine you have SPF you have sunscreen and this bad boy has sunscreen in it it has oil, oil control so that also helps with the matte finish but it doesn't make you look dry another thing that I'm looking for when I'm looking into foundation is 24 hour wear you want something that's going to be 24 hour wear because you don't want to keep reapplying foundation not in this heat not in this day in life you want something that you're going to put on be out the door and that be it and this is a 24 hour this is a 24 hour wear foundation which is brilliant so another side effect of 
pregnancy for me is hyperpigmentation. So my neck, my face, my whole face itself is not one skin tone. So in some parts I look really, in some parts I look really yellow, some parts I look really orange, some parts I look really light. And that's a side effect of being pregnant. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> find a foundation that, will, that 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 is capable of matching the undertone so this foundation for me is that foundation So this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. As you can tell, I have not put any powder or anything to matte it out. It does look like a matte finish. Hyperpigmentation in my neck is different to my face that I cannot help. I can't wait to have this baby so that I can go back to my normal self. But putting on this foundation, I'm starting to look like myself. I'm starting to see one shade, which is amazing. Um, these are the benefits of makeup that even if you find something that you even if you're going through something you can always just make yourself feel a little bit better um, with the beauty of makeup especially if it's skin related and you find a good brand or good product and Jill's one of those um, brands that if you're needing a little bit of a pep needing a little bit of a lift up a, a, a feel good um, it's a brand I trust will do that and also it's not going to make me I know for me for my skin it also doesn't make me break out more so I don't mind putting on makeup whilst I'm in the process of a skin reaction because I know that it isn't the Dior that's making my skin react in fact it's not going to irritate my skin even more so the point of this video was <laughs> Besides everything you're going through, facially, skin-wise, body conscious-wise, pregnancy-wise, non-pregnancy-wise, just love the skin and the body that you're with. You only have one body, you only have one skin, you only have one self. Your body's doing the best that it can do, okay? You're, you're, you know, sometimes we're a little bit too hard on ourselves. Sometimes we are too harsh on the expectations that we have for ourselves and we just need to have a little bit of tender loving care on ourselves. Don't be so hard. The real world, the one that we live in, things are not perfect. Things are good enough. Accept that. Be cool with that. Don't, 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 you know, live in a bubble where you think that, you know, you're this person who just is, 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 not attractive or you you're not doing the best you're not, not looking the best you're not you're not doing what societal standards tell you to do um because in actual fact most of us are going through the same thing so basically this is what my skin would look like on and a, just a quick a quick day-to-day -day beat going to the mall going to the shop getting myself ready this is easy for me to do i don't need to have a lot of stuff going on on my face because i'm already it's already happening on my face i want something light something this is not light but i want something that's not like hectic and i find this a really easy makeup go-to they've got 36 shades so i'm sure you can also find your shade if you go in store um the last thing i do especially because when you wear masks face mask um lipstick turns to just transfer onto the face mask and when you take it off it just looks kind of nasty so i use the dior backstage lip glow it's got 24 hour hydration um it's a color it's they say it's a color reviver technology so it's weird it looks it looks like just a normal lip balm right it looks like <sighs> You know it doesn't look like it's got much color it, it's pink but it doesn't look like it's got much color to it but as soon as you put it on your lips
it actually gives your, your lips an undertone of pinkness which I, which I really like it's very difficult for especially for girls like me who've got a bit of pigmentation in your lips to get a color transfer from such a a, a, a light um, not so pigmented pigmented lip um, balm so I really like that it gives you a very light pink undertone and it's 24 hour hydration you put it on you put your mask on when you take it off you still look like you've got something on your face use something on your lips and that's it guys so let me fix my hair and let's uh have our final our final goodbyes hope you enjoyed watching me do my do my go-to makeup especially during this pregnancy and i hope you enjoyed listening to me just ramble on about how it is important for you to love your beautiful body and love the skin that you're in and that no matter what your body's going through hormonal non-hormonal stress non-stresses outbreaks or discoloration hyperpigmentation weight loss weight gain just love yourself be happy with who you are you only have one body you only have one life and it's no point living it if you are going to be down and out feeling bad about how you look in the mirror remember how you look in the mirror is also a reflection of what you are feeling on the inside thank god for products like dior that make your life a little easier especially if you're feeling a little bit down about yourself my name is heather fox and you guys are the bomb.com i'll see you guys soon